Hi, my name is Danielle. I own this ambulance right here and I'm about to give you a tour. <laughs> All right, you want stats? Let's talk stats. It's a 2001 Ford F450. She has a 7.3 liter engine. It's a diesel, obviously. Uh, she's thick. <laughs> We're obviously gonna start in the front of the ambulance. Here she is. She needs repainted a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I put a bus mirror over here on the side because it's impossible to see behind you in these ambulances. This helps out a lot. Then we're gonna come over to the side. Ambulances are known to have incredible outdoor storage and that is my favorite part about the ambulances. I will show you this little door down here contains the batteries. Ambulances come with three batteries in them already. Um, these two helps her on the front. <laughs> There's a total of five batteries in here. We'll get to the other two on the other side. This one opens up to my closet, but honestly, I never use this door. I just use the inside door to my closet. This door is going to the inside. We'll get there in a second. Um, this table folds down into my outdoor table, and it's really nice to cook on outside. Love this. And then here we have my indoor outdoor shower, which obviously you can access from the inside too, but it's really nice to have the option to do it outside if it's nice. You're in a scenic area, you just wanna be naked out in public. It is what it is. Here we have the back. There's not much to it. <laughs> we have double doors. We just installed this sliding door because the only other window that opens is on the other side. And it keeps some nice ventilation going. This is what we like to call the garage. Um, it's kind of empty right now because a lot of this stuff we've taken out for organization purposes. Um, but normally we just keep like the tools in here. We have our Mr. Buddy heater, just things that we don't use that often, but we need to have diesel. <laughs> this compartment is the water compartment. So it's okay if everything in here gets wet, which is amazing. You don't have to worry about any leaks inside. We can fill the water tank from out here. Um, this is a 20 gallon water tank. And then we have a pump here that runs it, obviously. Tankless hot water heater. We have my gray tank down there. This is just extra water. We have propane for the heater um, and a hose. <laughs> and that's the water compartment. This was for shore power, but it actually doesn't work anymore. I do still have the capabilities to go to shore power, but it's not that. Uh, this is the tallest compartment I think I have, and we like to keep extra camping chairs, tents, canopies. Um, I have a keyboard in here. <laughs> and then here we have the two batteries that run everything on the inside, such as my fridge, my lights. Um, the 12 volt plugs, everything that goes on inside is run from these two batteries, which are connected up to the solar on top. And um, that's it for this cabinet, I think. Come around through the inside, I'll meet you up front and show you around. So this may look like the simplest part of the tour, but actually we spend most of our time up here driving, obviously. Um, but this is the front cab. So we have this really intimidating panel right here, but honestly it doesn't do anything anymore for insurance purposes. We have this aftermarket head unit because you know I wasn't about to go with no music. And we also have my backup camera because like I said, it's impossible to see around yourself in this thing. So that's pretty much it for the front. And welcome to the back of the ambulance. Um, just came from the cab. There's this little door here, which is very helpful. It shuts to keep the front separate from the back and it actually does a really good job of insulating, keeping it cool or warm back here, depending on what you want. And then also up here in this little cabinet, we have an absolute mess of wires. I never go in this cabinet. <laughs> and then we have some clothes, some sheets, some onesies. And down here, we have my amp that runs my subwoofer because like I said, we're all about that music. And also we have my inverter with a bunch of other electrical stuff back there along with like paper towels and other little things that didn't fit anywhere else. And then we move up to this area which is what we consider our front door. I don't understand how anybody <laughs> I don't understand how anybody in van life goes without bug nets. We have bug nets on both of the doors. Just, like how? But anyways, this is my closet. Um, it's pretty empty right now because we are living in my parents' basement for the minute of while we're redoing the bus. But I also have a safe in here that is mounted in here for good. So we keep all of our important things in here when we're gonna be away from the ambulance for a really long time. And also, 
more closet space. <laughs> And this is the main part of my closet. Like I said, it's really empty looking right now, but that is because all my clothes are in my parents' house. Down here under the bed, we have some shoe storage along with more shoe storage under this side of the bed, which brings us to the bed and also the couch. It is a pullout couch, so it turns into like just under a double bed, which does kind of suck sleeping two people once you've been used to a queen bed, but it is what it is. Um, we cut this mattress to fit in here exactly, and I think it works out pretty well. Up here we have some more like underwear, socks kind of things, and normally I would keep like makeup and jewelry up here, but that's also in my parents' house right now. So right now we just have like the tattoo machine, which is really fun for boring nights in the ambulance. And then that brings us over to the shower once again. There's a light in here. Um, I don't think we use the outside part of the shower too much, but this is where we get into it normally. And we also don't use the shower that much. It kind of just is storage for the most part. We normally go to like Planet Fitness or whatever. Back here we have two speakers and a hook for a hammock in case I ever needed somebody else to sleep in here with us. And down here we have a cat door because I was planning on bringing my cats with me to live in the ambulance. Long story short, it didn't work out. And then here we have gunner's clothes most of the time. And then we have art supplies in this bottom cabinet. All of these cabinets, by the way, were already here from the ambulance. I did not build them, which is another really great thing about ambulances. We have some cleaning supplies on this side. And then up here, we have towels, we have like our junk box, tools, batteries, bags. On this side, we have a shit ton of toiletries because I just, I like things, I don't know. <laughs> and this is one of the most recent parts that we added on to the ambulance, which is going to be what I wanna call the charging drawer. So I'm gonna have all the wires run underneath it and charge like our phones, our laptops, the speaker, whatever we need to charge in here, just so it's out of the way. And we don't have to worry about like packing too much stuff up whenever we're leaving and going places because as soon as you start driving, everything knocks off of the ambulance. So it's gonna be really nice to just have everything in this drawer. And then under this, we have some kitchen stuff, plates, bowls, Tupperware, you know, kitchen things. And then, ooh, you know, we always got wires everywhere. That's why I wanted the charging drawer. This was all dead space when I first got the ambulance, which is crazy to me because there's so much more storage. We keep like pots and pans down here and the blender, the toaster. Um, I don't know why they never used this space, but I had my dad cut this hole out to put everything down there. This is also another addition. We have silverware, utensils, knives, straws, lighters, things like that in this drawer. And under this, I don't have anything right now, but this is all the plumbing for the sink. And that's about all that's in there right now. Back here, another really great thing about ambulances is they already have the electrical like pretty much done for you. So I have regular outlets back there and also 12 volt outlets back there. Super nice, super convenient. And then right next to that, I have the sink and the plumbing comes out of the wall here. Boom, oh, I gotta turn the pump on running water just like that it's beautiful and of course we have to have a mirror and that brings us to the kitchen the rest of this is pretty much the kitchen so we have this portable camp stove it's really nice to take out to the outside table if we want to cook outside that's why I wanted a portable one you normally have it hooked up to that big propane from outside or we use the little propanes and then above this we have dry food storage like cans and stuff and also in this cabinet is my charge controller to see where my batteries are at, if they need charged or not. That's that. <laughs> we have this ugly cabinet over here which keeps like more dry food storage, our spices and coffee, teas, whatever. Also more dry food storage back here because we just love food, apparently. And then we have my fridge here, which is also pretty empty at the moment just because we're eating inside my parents' house right now. But this fridge is probably the biggest fridge I've ever seen in a van build and I just had to do it. I just had to do it to them, I don't know. I also have a freezer, which is extremely nice. We have ice all the time. We have ice packs, popsicles, frozen fruits. I don't know how people do this without a freezer. I'm so spoiled at this point, it's like, could never have, a, could never not have a freezer again. 
Here we have the max air fan. It is disgusting right now, but it either pulls air in or pushes air out, whatever we want to do. And it has a rain sensor, so it senses when it's raining to close, which is super nice. And this is the ceiling of the ambulance, which I painted myself, I'm very proud of it, and I will never paint another ceiling again. But this is not the original ceiling of the ambulance. The original ceiling had these big, ugly lights that did not work at all. And it had these bars going all the way across for medical people to do what medical people do. <laughs> But we replaced it all, put these little puck lights in. I wish I would have put more puck lights in, but it is what it is. And then we have a bar over here that is very sturdy to hang off of and stuff. We have another hammock hook over here and that about wraps it up for the ambulance tour. That is it for the ambulance tour. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions at all, please comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel because me and my husband do really cool stuff. That's it. <laughs>